Hey everybody, welcome back to another Promise Log episode. My name is Jonathan with Apex Web Solutions and I'm super excited today to show you a couple of features of the Oxygen 3.7 Alpha. This just came out today and I've had the chance to play with it, which is super awesome because the repeater element now has CSS Grid in it. And if you don't know what that is, don't worry, I'm gonna show you. It's gonna help you achieve layouts that otherwise weren't possible without manually coding it yourself. Of course, you have CSS Grid in this release. And then there's also what they call composite elements. And so what's cool about these is they're almost like individual design sets. So the Oxygen team can build these custom components and then publish them without having to wait for the next Oxygen release. And as you can see, there's a ton of them there. So Accordion, I've already played with that, and you can make it dynamic using the repeater and the ACF repeater, which is super cool. Uh, dynamic slider, which is awesome. You had to manually build that before, but now there's one just out of the box for you. Mega menu, review box, hover, scroll, image, all kinds of stuff. But what we're gonna focus on today is the CSS grid. And basically that's gonna help you achieve layouts kind of like a magazine or kind of like a blog website where they have different size posts in different rows. And again, it wasn't really possible to achieve that without manually coding it. So we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into how you can do that in the new version of Oxygen. So of course this is an alpha release, so everything may not be perfect, but for my testing so far, everything seems to work just fine. So what you're gonna wanna do is start off by adding in a section and then a repeater. And actually you can see these are the composite elements that have kind of that like pinkish purple, whatever color that is, oxygen logo in the corner. But what I want here is a repeater. I'm gonna quickly change the query to post because I have a bunch of posts on this site and it already detects all those. And then before I get into any of this layout stuff here, what I'm gonna do is just add some content in. So let's pop in an image element. We're gonna to go to data, featured image. We'll just set that to large. Let's pop in a heading element. This heading we're just gonna to set to the post title, of course. I'm going to pop in a text element here. And I think we'll do the excerpt. It might be kind of long in some cases, but let's just go ahead and pop that in. And then under the excerpt, one more thing is we're gonna add in a text link. And we're going to set this to the post permalink here. And then I'm gonna just make it say read and then post like that, trying to type with one hand. Didn't quite work as well as I hoped. Now let's add some margin beneath this stuff just to give it a bit of spacing here. Quickly fly through this stuff. And actually I don't need margin beneath that. I'm just gonna set it on the actual repeater div. Let's go like, I don't know, 50 pixels underneath it, something to that effect. Okay, so that looks perfectly fine. Overwhelmingly big as far as that image, but that's okay because now we can actually set up our repeater grid. So I'm going to click on the repeater element here. And then, you know, under layout is where you would typically go for your vertical and horizontal layouts, but we're actually gonna go back and choose grid layout, which is a new button here. You of course have vertical and horizontal, but what I want is grid in this case. Now by default, it's not gonna change anything because you need to set the column count. So if we go like two or three wide, you can see the changes taking effect in real time. And that heading is actually kind of big. Let's change this to like H2 and let's bump its font size down to like 28, 24, something to that effect. There we go, that's much better. Moving back to the repeater grid layout tab, we have a column count of four, which is pretty cool. Now, if you scroll down here, you'll see this new option that says grid children, and there's four rows here. And then uh, I guess we have whatever it is, four, 16 posts on this site. So that is what this grid is. It's a four by four grid right now. But if I change this to a column count of three, you can see this grid children thing is changing in real time, which is pretty cool. Let's start off with a column count of four. And what I want is every other post to be too wide. So if I click one of the grid children, another option pops up here that says column span and row span. So if I click in column, what I'm gonna do is just type the number two, and that's gonna make that post take up two columns wide. By default, it's still going to be just one row high because we haven't changed that, but you can kind of see every other post is unaffected except the one that we selected. So what I was saying is I kind of want this alternating layout. So I'm gonna set this one to two wide. I'm gonna set this one to two, this one to two. And then that actually works pretty fine because we have an even four on the bottom. So let's save real quick and let's take a look on the front end. So there's our first post that's too wide and all the other ones are basically 50%, you know, 25%, 25% and 50 is what this is. Might wanna set the image to 100% width, so it takes up all the available space there, but that's okay. Just demonstrating this point here about how the CSS grid layout works. 
and the excerpt is super long, but whatever, that's okay. So this is pretty neat because we end up with four in a row on the bottom, which to do that in Flexbox, if you had an odd number of posts would have been somewhat challenging, certainly doable, but you know, not the, not the easiest thing ever. So let's go back over here and let's go to column count of five. And what I'm gonna do is reset the grid children and let's just play with this. Let's see if we can come up with something cool here. Because of how long all this stuff is, I'm actually just gonna delete the excerpt text, make things a little bit shorter, kind of more readable. And then I wanna go back to my repeater grid layout. And then what are we gonna do here for layout? Let me think. Let's do kind of like a two, one, two layout. So I'm gonna go column span two and then column span two. We'll leave one row with five and then we'll go two like that. And then that actually looks pretty reasonable. So you can see first row effectively has three posts, then five, then three, then five. So that works out super cool. Okay, so I just went on theme forest and typed in newspaper and this is the very first theme that popped up. So this is something that we can really easily achieve now, this layout that you're looking at right here. Although in terms of setup, it may be a bit different on how you wanna do it. You might wanna set like a div with the featured image as the background and the heading. And what I guess we can just go ahead and do that. So what we're gonna do first of all, is go back over here to our repeater and we're gonna change this column count to two. We don't need five. And inside of our main repeater div here, I personally like to just add another div for flexibility. I'm gonna set this width to 100%. And then let's define a height of, I don't know, maybe like 350 pixels, something like that, maybe 300. And we're gonna to go to background, set this to the featured image of the post. We'll just set that to large. It's probably too big, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna set this to cover and we're gonna go left 50% and top 50% like that. And then it was just kind of a white heading overlaid on top of that div. So let's go heading here. And realistically, I could have just cloned my one from earlier, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna just decrease that font size significantly to like 22, change that to H2. And then on our div here, we want this to be on the bottom. And then let's set some padding of like 25 pixels all the way around like that. Now for readability, we might want an image overlay. So I'm just gonna make it black and then drop the opacity to like 25%. And then let's go post title. And then last but not least, what we could do is take this heading, make it a link, just close this and then set the dynamic data to permalink like that. And then we can basically just delete all this other stuff that we added earlier. So I'm just gonna delete heading, the text, and so now what we have is our repeater div with the overlay like that, pretty neat. And then I actually want this headings typography to be left aligned, so it's not kind of sitting in the middle. All right, so I'm gonna save this and then let's take a look at our example here. So we have pretty much that. You could add the category author and date as well pretty easily just using dynamic data. But what we're gonna do is, this is more or less a two by two, uh, grid here, and then you have two down here. So let's see if we can copy that layout. We're of course gonna have a lot more posts in our repeater, but you could change the count to, what is this, one, two, three, four? So maybe we can do that. Let's go to uh, the repeater query. We're gonna go to count and change this to four. Now I'm gonna take the main div. We added 50 pixels of margin earlier. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. And then we're gonna go back to our repeater Let's go to grid layout. And then our first grid child here is gonna be, uh, I believe it's column span of two. No, not column, row, I get those confused. So row span of two. And then this one is going to be just like that. So we're gonna keep that one as is. And then the other two, it's gonna be column span. Okay, maybe we don't want our column count to be two. This is new to me, so I'm playing with this in real time. Let's try to make this a column count of three. And then I'm gonna reset this real quick. Our first child is going to be a row span of, no, not row, gosh, I get those so confused. Column span of two, row span of two, or is it just gonna be one? I guess it's gonna be one. And then the next child is gonna, a, like that. This is so confusing. Maybe four. Let's go four. There we go. I think we're onto something here. So they're both 
two column span, except the first one is a row span of two. There we go. That, oh, not 12. That's not what I meant. Not 122, two. There we go. And then now are our last two already working? Yeah. Okay. So that does take a little bit of playing. It's not exactly immediately clear how you achieve this, but I think in time it'll get much more familiar on how you would achieve this. Now, of course, in the example, that image takes up all the space here, and we did define a specific height for this div here. So I wonder if we go ahead and change that. I was in the wrong div. If I just remove that, what happens? No. So we want it to take up, can you do 100%? Yeah, you can, although you probably want a minimum height of, let's say, like 300 pixels. There we go. That's exactly what you want. So save, take a look on the front end, and there we go. So that is more or less identical to what we had before. Let me compare them side by side. Yeah, so our example is definitely bigger than theirs, so you would want to play with kind of the spacing and the sizing and stuff. But the principle is the same. So, I mean, we have this one here that takes up the whole left half plus a wide article right there and then two small little squares. And that's exactly what we have. So, again, you could realistically use like Chrome and Spec to find the sizing and stuff and make it match. But this is something that would have been pretty tricky to achieve. You would have had to manually code this before, like I've already said. But now with the CSS grid baked into the repeater, it's really simple to build something like that. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed tagging along with this. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in a future video.